Right now, what we are trying to do is establish a national lion conservation action program. The sound is stronger on this side. It's basically because the populations are really low. And that's not only a concern to us in Uganda, but it has also been concerned throughout Africa. Right now, what we are doing is a big research which is going on about movements of animals in the corridors. And the Congo border has been identified as one of the corridors. That would be, that would be intentional. <laughs> okay, shot in the chamber. Like now here, the border is just less than 100 meters off. And you find all these kinds of movements up and down. And that means a transboundary approach will be extremely important. We put collars on these animals and they are being monitored. And what is definitely the outcome is they are moving across. They go to Congo, they come over to this side. Now our part as management is to make sure that when they go across, they are protected. So we have a transboundary collaboration with Congo. Surely our lion populations are small. As you know, small populations, so many things happen to them. If they experience epidemics, they can easily go and their genetic diversity easily becomes compromised. So you can see diseases, small population, intrinsic factors, all those are threats. Well, the Envirovet team asked me why I'm interested in Envirovet. I explained it to them. The lion's on top of the pyramid, and if you want to know the health of the ecosystem, you can't leave them out because they control the populations. The tree frogs really don't get much publicity or credit for their incredible color changes, but that, that brown one with spots on it could also be green with no spots right. on These it. These amphibian dioxins are multifactorial, mm -hmm. so there's you know something underlying it, like the kitchen fungus, probably something has set that off. And there's certain the benefits really and experience really I got from the environment program is I would have learned so much about what controls ecosystem health. In a lot of ways we see these as canaries of the sea and the sea turtles are environmentally impacted by pollution. Boats. But there are many other things which were out there which I never thought I would get exposed to, especially the, the aquaculture part of it. But we know that under this beach there's a peat layer and a marsh mud layer which forms a barrier to flow of water. So when we get a rain, that water is going to come pouring out of the island. It was really intensive, the ecotoxicology part of it. So that way, I kind of learned much more than what I expected before. The government is trying to do a lot of promotion for women. And uh, I know that once you really have a woman committed to work, that is it. She will always try to do it and achieve whatever is there. And us women who come from the northern sector of the country, we just have that hardiness to stand challenges. <laughs> so I love to encounter challenges. And when I overcome them, I feel like I have achieved.